big shows. But uh, you know, for, for someone like Lily, she's in the situation she she can really go to either either horse this week, depending on what she does, and she might use both horses on Saturday as well. So she possibly wants to keep a little in the in the. The way he way. was jumping now, yeah. he's, he'll jump the big tracks like that because he went in there taking yeah. her, didn't he, yeah. all the way. Yeah. Let's move on to Nicola Paul and uh, the uh, ten-year-old Coupin HD for the uh, young German rider, one of the uh, young talents that we're uh, seeing here this week. And we've, we've seen her on a, a couple of stages of the uh, tour so far this season as well. Newcomer to the uh, tour this year. It's great for a young rider like this to come into an arena like this and rubbing shoulders with well we've got almost all of the top 20 in the world here this week a tremendous experience for Nicola Paul I mean she's a very capable rider yeah. in her own right but obviously not as well known as a lot of the riders that we've got here this week but to be sharing a practice ring with them walking a course with them observing them at close quarters seeing what they do how they step distances their strategy of how they use their own individual horses and uh, there's so many things that you can pick up just by as in any sport just by observation yeah and that's a very good round there as well but a fair bit slower for the only 199 is it the fourth place good confidence builder for uh, nicola paul for the week goes clear into uh, fourth place copa asia it's been going well down in Portugal in the uh, last couple of weeks in readiness for the season to uh, close out here and uh, really start to... And the interesting thing is, Steve, this time of year, you, as a rider, I suppose you're into that transitional period between finishing off this season in, in a big way, but also...